Bernie Sabat is considered one of the great photographers of the 20th century. From 1935 to 1939, she was commissioned by the federal government to photograph New York City as it underwent rapid change. We will hear from a curator, a darkroom printer, and a fine art photographer as to Abbott's legacy in photography. She's probably one of the ten great photographers before 1950. Because she was a customer here until she passed away in the 70s and my boss knew her when he, when he was a little kid, he was first working here, I mean he was very aware of her photographs and my boss had, had a degree in photography from college so he was very aware of her and then, and, then, and, and then we luckily got this great collection in 2004 and then we got another big collection uh, recently, about six years ago and then we just had another show. Yeah. She decided to come back to New York City and, and the city had changed so much she decided to document the city and she started this project uh, in the early 30s and then finally she got the government to pay for it. I think she did 600 photographs of the city but changing New York uh, and there's a book about that, that maybe is 100, 120 photographs of the city. It's a big box camera, big box camera, so, so they were negatives, 8 by 10 negatives and, and there's only three copies of each and all the negatives are in, in, in Museum of the City of New York. It's quite commendable that she was shooting in this format um, because it's a ton of equipment to carry around on your shoulder. And there's a lot of photographers who just don't want to go through the trouble of, of carrying that weight and setting up, taking that long to set up and leveling your camera and you know, that kind of thing. Uh, at the same time that she was shooting, you had people like Cartier-Bresson who were shooting 35 millimeter like uh, Tons of people were shooting, uh, you know, street stuff, especially um, in smaller formats. In terms of just resolution and size of the negative, um, it's tremendously larger than a 35 millimeter. This is a 35 millimeter frame, um, and this is what Cartier Bresson was shooting on. This is what most uh, street photographers were shooting on at the time and still today. Our digital sensors, DSLRs, shoot with the same uh, format. Some of them are smaller, but that's generally the larger size. Um, this is an 8x10. We can look at them right next to each other. It's huge, the difference. I have um, had been a big fan of Bernie Sabat's work for a long time since I was a student at Pratt. The reason I wanted to go see her was that I was impressed by her work. I loved her um, attention to architecture in the city, this kind of detail, you know, clear pictures that were very formal and also um, had very interesting angles and her um, command of the technique which allowed the light to show really well and I think my absolute favorite picture of hers is the one that is looking down from the Empire State Building and it makes New York look like it's all electric. You know I really thought of her as a New York photographer. One thing that she said in some of her writing that inspires me is that she liked to keep things the way they actually were like in other words not try to fake what she was looking at but often take the pictures from very unique angles. Um, in terms of my own work, I've been fascinated by New York for a long time, and you look back at the historic images, and they're, it's stunning to see the city at that time compared to how it is now.